Sir, add me and let me ask a question. I was asking you to write your question. You want to come back up, come talk to me? Okay. Amen. Person said they want to come back up, come talk to me. Lisa, not easy, no? Lisa, I want to come talk to my face. Lisa, I'm here. The <laughs> question was, you know, it was very significant to me because something you read the word, yes, and sometimes it kind of like and um, they like to have clarification, especially with the word of God, which is I understandable. Was reading, I, was reading, I was reading, I was I was seeing something, I read it a long time ago. But they keep this which scripture are you reading from, ma'am? Um, uh, I've been reading Matthew, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to read back all the four graphics all over back again. Yes, you say you have a biblical question for me. Yes, the, the, the significance, because people look at it as spiritual significance, but I think there's a spiritual side to it. You know? And I want to find out what it is. When Christ was on his way to Jerusalem and was entering to Jerusalem on the road on the donkey, and the people gathered to greet him, and then um, he did not walk into Jerusalem. Although Jerusalem was his destination, but they realized they did not walk in there. Why didn't he walk in Jerusalem? Well, that's the question I, I'm asking. Why? Because it's significant. Walked. If you understand his mode of transportation, then you'd understand everything. I understand the donkey. Yes, the donkey. Okay, and fine. I'm still not understanding why. Because in, in you one really one, want to find out why? <laughs> okay, no, let us go. No, 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 no. A beautiful question he asks. Let us go to let us go to um scripture. So read from the scripture. Go. Okay, okay. CP and Flexing Beauty, go to the scripture for me, please. Matthew. Google, Google. Um, he came to Jerusalem on a donkey. Just Google that and tell us where he is. Okay. It's a good question, you know. It, in fact, it's a great question. This is a question of the day. Matthew 21, 1 to 11. Matthew 21, 1 to 11. Let us go there. What it said? Verse 1. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem. When the Bible said drew nigh, it means they didn't come near to Jerusalem. That's what it means. We're going to come through the scripture. So they drew nigh. In other words, they came near to Jerusalem. And after this, I'm going to close. So they came near to Jerusalem. Continue. And were came to Bethphage unto the Mount of Olives. Okay. So they came to the Mount of Olives. Notice what it said, Mount of Olive. Now, Olive mean grace, as in olive oil. Oh. Olive mean grace. So they came to the mountain of grace. Who is the grace? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So they have a physical olive. olive grace and they have a spiritual olive grace. So that is why the spiritual olive grace was now heading to the physical olive grace, the mountain. Continue. Mm. Then sent sent Jesus two disciples unto the saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straight away ye shall find an ass tied and cold her. Now, then said Jesus Christ of Nazareth to his disciple, Go over to the east, yeah, and there you find an ass. The ass represent us. What do I mean by this? The ass represent a dumb ass. So here is it, a dumb set of people. Huh? And we are now classic. Listen carefully. I want you to understand. Are the ass in my right come in? You know? No, listen carefully. Oh, we take a twist now. Did you know that that was one of the mode of transportation? Let me explain. In those days, Donkey was only made to carry load. Amen. Amen. Did you know that ass was used for a transportation like a vehicle? But the two things we carry load was donkey and mule. Now a mule is a crossbreed between a dun a ass and a donkey. So the crossbreed between the ass and the donkey. Amen. Give your mule. So the donkey is the 
order of the day. So here is Christ bearing the load of man. Couldn't ride upon the ass. I'm afraid upon the donkey. So that is point one. Did you know that the donkey is the only animal that have a cross in its back? No. Oh. If you look upon the donkey, the donkey have a black streak from the neck. Come all the way oh, down straight. And then a next black streak from the right leg to the next right leg. And the donkey alone carry a black stripe of a cross in its back. So Christ was now riding on his own dead cross in two. Now this gets significant because the donkey is now the burden bearer. And Christ is now the sacrifice laying on the donkey. That is the message. Let us continue. Go. Loose them and bring them unto me. Loose the donkey and bring the donkey to me because the donkey is going to bring me to the death to bear the load of sin. Because Christ cannot bear the load. Listen carefully. He cannot walk into Jerusalem. The reason for that is very simple. A presentation, you know, presentation. He is now carrying, I'm cross, I carry him, you know, because him soon, car, him soon start carrying him cross. So he cross, I carry him. So when, listen carefully, that is why I said what I said early on. He said, the, 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 the ass now represent mankind. Because we are called, because we are lack of knowledge. When somebody lack of knowledge, what they call? No dumbass. Dumbass. <laughs> Get what I'm saying? So that is why he said, loose the dumbass and bring them to me. Amen. In other words, lose the sin of men. Can come give me. Amen. That's what it means. Continue Amen. read. And if any man say, uh, out unto you. And if anybody have an objection that the dumb heart should come to me, tell them, say, listen to me. And me, the burden bearer, I go uh, require the ass to come to me. Continue. Yep. Ye shall say, the Lord has need of them. The and Lord so have need of the dumb heart. Remember, you know, I one donkey him right pan. So, oh, I'm going to tell you now, the Lord have need of them. Of them mean more than one. Care all of the dumbass them come give me. That's why they, when they try Peter and they try John, they said, listen to me, they were bold, but they realized that they were with Jesus. That's why the Bible said, can anything good come from Jesus from Christ of Nazareth? Nazareth? Continue. Verse 4, all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was... All this was done that it may be fulfilled. Continue. By what? By the prophet. By the prophet. Which prophet? Saying, ye to the daughter of Zion. Now, behold. listen carefully. Let us go a little bit deeper. Say deeper. Deeper. Okay, fine. So here is it that we saw the story with the Bible, in the Bible, the story in Numbers chapter 22 between um, Balaam and Balak. Huh? Yes. Who was it yes. that was talking to the angel on the behalf of Balaam? It was the same donkey. It was the same donkey. That Jesus, the same dumb ass spirit. That's what it means. The same dumb ass spirit. So that's why Christ said, listen to me. Since as mankind is so dumb that they won't talk to me, go and get the donkey if you come carry me into the death. Now, continue to read. Tell ye the daughter of Zion, behold, thy king cometh unto thee. Tell ye the daughter of Zion. Did you know that the daughter of Zion represent the church? Tell the church that I am now here. The true owner of the church is now here. Daughter of Zion. The true 
Ed Priest is now here. Continue. Meek and sitting upon an ass. And, and I am here sitting on the jackass. Why is he sitting there on the jackass? For many reasons. But let us focus on them. One, the cross was the donkey is the only thing that have a cross in its back. That is one. Two, the donkey was now represent the nature, or should I say, the stage of mankind. We are talking about um, Isaiah 4, 6. The Bible said, because you know, behave like a dumb jackass. Huh? Because you know, behave like a dumb jackass. You are now being taken disadvantage of. Huh? That's why them have to ride you like a dumb jackass. So Christ is now saying, listen to me. This is the final riding and it's over. Yeah? Continue. And a cult the fall of an ass. Verse 6. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. Yes. And brought, and brought the ass and the cult and put on them their clothes. Yes. And they set him listen down. carefully why would jesus christ of nazareth put a clothes on a donkey that was a spiritual covering you know um, that is where all spiritual covering comes in who oh, remember when god said to moses listen what god said to moses moses said god i want to see you we're talking about exodus chapter 34. God said to Moses, you can't see me in the condition where it is. However, I'm going to put you in the cliff of a rock. That is when the spiritual garment was created, you know, for mankind, you know. And that is why Jesus Christ of Nazareth said in the book of John chapter 14, anything you cover yourself with or anything you ask God for, cover it with the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the rock. That is why they said they cover the colt with the cover clothes. In other words, it was a spiritual garment. They know cover me and you. That is why we can classify as dumbass. But when the anointing come upon we and the spirit of discernment come upon we, let us go back to the Bible. A few seconds a while ago, we read that they were man of unlearned. And who they call unlearned? Dumbass. But when the Holy Ghost come upon we, who wise like we? Big up yourself. Continue. Verse 8. And a very great multitude spread over, spread their garments in the way. No. The church population now come with them religious spirit. And them take them olive oil and them take them water, them prayer shall, and them take everything that they call anointing or represent the anointing and they put it at Christ's feet and Christ I walk on it you know a donkey I walk on it so all what that, what does this mean it means that all of them religious ritual did not mean shit because a donkey I walk on it <laughs> not even Christ was walking on it the donkey was walking on it continue Others cut down branches from the trees. And everybody cut down branches from the tree. Did you know that tree represent religious spirit? So everybody take off branches off of them religious lifestyle. In other words, they weren't right in Christ. And that is why early on we hear the lady come on and said, we have a lady in the community. Every day she make up nice from X and X and X with her religious spirit and going nowhere. <laughs> Continue. And strode them in the way. And they put and it in the way. So they are offering their ritual to Christ. Not even their art. Not even their mind. They are offering their ritual to Christ. And what happened? And the multitudes then went before. And, and that followed Christ saying. Hosanna to the son of David. Yes. David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Continue. Hosanna in the palace. Continue. Verse 10. And when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, 
who is this? Okay, fine. And, then, and when he came to the city of Jerusalem, did you know what that means? When he came to the city of holiness, who remember that Mount Zion is an holy place? So when they came to the city of holiness, all along they might hear about Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you know, but they have never seen him in this capacity before. He was now here as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and he was now being crowned, but yet still him now own nothing but a donkey. The reason why he own a donkey is because did you know that all the poor have is Christ? Amen. No matter how rich you is, you know I have mm -hmm. God. Because sometimes the riches where you get have nothing to do with God. Because how you get your riches as coming and all kind of stuff. So that have nothing. But the poor always have God. So whether you're rich or poor, you have God. Let us go back to Bible. What is it said? Verse 11, and the multitude said, this is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Them not even know him. Church people said, this is Jesus, the prophet of Galilee. They not even know him as God. They not even reverence him as God. Let us continue. That's what religious That's spirit does, you know. Never reverence God as God. What scripture are we reading? Tell them the scripture that you're reading from. Uh, Matthew 21 Verses 1 to 11 so far that we're at. Continue read. Verse 12. And Jesus went into the temple of God. Immediately, he went into his temple now. Notice what it said. Jesus went into the temple of God. Why did Jesus went into the temple of God? Because it is now the physical body of Jesus of Nazareth. Listen carefully. The physical body of Jesus of Nazareth is a man. And he now went into the temple of God. That means uh, spiritually. What does this mean? Let me explain. Right now, you are a physical woman. Yes or not? Yes. But yes. yet still the body said, the Bible said that you are a royal priesthood. That is one. Not only that, but the Bible, same Bible also said in First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know he not that your body is the temple of the living God. So it said now that the body of Jesus now enter into the presence of Jehovah God. That's what it means when he said he went into the temple of God. Because the temple that they have there or the four walls was that they have there did not belong to God, you know? No. So right there, so Jesus Christ of Nazareth stepped into spirituality. So the physical temple was now demolished. And the spiritual temple take over. Who understand what we say a while ago? So the very fact that Jesus Christ of Nazareth went inside the temple, the glory of God now transferred from the four wall into the body of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is why the anointing is now inside near you and not inside the four wall building. Amen. Read. And cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple. And, and they the now cast out everything that do rally and what are they doing at the church? Rally and wagon. Yeah, man. And today, today they them call it rally and, and, and they, what, they, what they call it? And um, special service and special offering. Our Thanksgiving this and Thanksgiving that. Are the same thing they're not doing at those gates, Using the temple for make money. The same thing they're doing today. Harvest. Thank you. Mm. Rally and harvest and all of them. Thank you. And what again? He now cast them out and said, listen to me. My church, in other words, my body is the body of the living God. Now get out. Read. And overthrew the tables of the money changers yes. and the seats of them that sold doves. Now, what he was he saying? Listen carefully. Who remember at the birth of Jesus Christ of Nazareth? The Bible said that the three wise men brought gold unto him. That means uh, he kept him uh, him own gold from day one, you know, from him a baby he own gold. That means he can't be bought and sold. That is why Acts chapter 3 verse 6 said, silver and gold, you know, really important to me because my daddy is a millionaire already. You can't buy me out. Give me favors, the anointing. By the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's why I tell people all the while, do not run after silver and gold. Run after the favor of God. Amen. 
I repeat, do not seek after silver and gold. If you run after silver and gold, you work from now till the morning and you don't achieve nothing. Ask God for favors where people have them big, them big house and so. And when you ask God for favors, them are dead. And then God give you the favors and then dead left the house give you. House where you can never work for, them dead left give you. Care where you can never work for, them give you. So when you, listen to me, ask God for favors and not riches. Amen. Because you work from now till the morning and can't get riches. Ask God for favors. Put people in your path. You call them destiny helper. Amen. Because if for you to work and for make riches, you never get it. So ask God for destiny helper. People who already make it and pull you up with them. Continue. Amen. Verse 13. And said unto them, It is written, My house shall it be. It is written, My house is a hospital. That's what he said. My house is a spiritual hospital. In other words, everybody who is sick should turn to the church for healing. But see, it, you know, damn thief. Turn the in, made it a den of thieves. That's what you know, damn thief. Can you imagine if Jamaican, if Jesus was a Jamaican? You know, damn thief. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Continue. Um, verse 14. And the blind. The person said, which one are the question? Which one are the scripture? Oh, um, Matthew 21. And I'm on verse 14 now. Yes. And the blind and the lame came to him. In now the listen temple. carefully. Remember what he said? My house is a hospital. And immediately the blind came to him. And not necessarily physically blind people, you know. Spiritually blind people come to this platform. And everybody now saying, Spear more. Me see what you do. Me see me are open spiritually. That's the same Amen. thing that Jesus was doing. So when the Bible said blind, I know literally blind people, it, some of my time, you know, huh? spiritual blind. So you go to the platform and you now learn something that you have never learned before. Amen. That's what it means. You say, right ago, when the young lady said, this is the scripture. I never knew what I was going to do now, what I was going to say. You know, I start to pray. That is what I love with God, you know. I start to Amen. pray. I am here praying and people not even know that I'm praying. That is the relationship. Oh, remember. Telephone to glory. Oh, what joy divine. I can feel the spirit moving on the line. Why did God have to give us a private? Listen to me. Yes, a cell phone. A private line. Yes, a cell phone. Cell phone was evitable. Amen. You didn't know the cell phone was evitable? Let me tell you why cell phone yeah, was evitable. Right. Let me tell you why cell phone was evitable. Daniel was making a call to heaven one day. Did you know, say, in the old days, you have a line, and you say the phone line is an open line. Did you know, say, all you need was a phone, and you take the card, and peel it off, and connect on the line, and you can make a call? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, Daniel, listen carefully. Cell phone was inevitably, you know. So, in order for you now to make a call, all you need to do, you know, is to get a phone. And you just peel off the wire and connect with one and you can make a call. But the, the cable, the, the phone line open. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you could have make a call. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Try make a call for a, for a person's cell phone now, no? Worse WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. You can't tap in a people call nowadays. Worse WhatsApp. No. Worse WhatsApp call. You can't tap in a... So here is it now that Daniel was now making a call to heaven. And the devil tap in a Daniel call. That's why the Bible said that the devil now with all the answer of Daniel because Daniel Carl was being intercepted by Satan going through the second heaven. And so Jesus Christ of Nazareth had to come and fix that. Yeah? That is why he gave all of us now a personal cell phone to glory. Amen. This is a physical phone, you know. But a personal cell phone is when he said go into your closet. And nobody know when you dial into me, you know. Huh? No. Nobody can know when you dial into me. And that is why it said, Jesus on the telephone, tell him what you need. Eh? I remember okay, that. Okay, fine. <laughs> All along they were telling us. So right now, 
What is the new code that you use for heaven? Very simple. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> so once you pray, Father, in the name of the dialy, dialy, heaven, heaven, no, no. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is the dial number to heaven. I want you to say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Satan can't tap in the call. Amen. Can't tap in the call. The call is a private line. It is called private line. That's the word. It's encrypted. Exactly. That is the code of heaven. And that is why Philippians 2 verse 10 said, At the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every Every, 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 listen carefully, listen carefully. At the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every extortioner. <laughs> listen. At the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every extortioner and every acca shall be subjected. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. This is, this is a system where you can't tap in. Can't tap in it anymore. Amen. And that is why you see them I use olive oil and water and prayer shall for tap in it. Can't work. Can't work. Richest blessing upon you. Any other question? Amen. Is, um, I mean, most times, what, what I realize, no, any, anything that you read, it lines right back to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It goes right from the beginning to the end. It just lines up right with him. It's just you have to find the, the, the code them in the Bible because as you said in the previous life, the book, the Bible is a book. Yes. That father things are in it, you know. But they tried to tamper with it, but they couldn't work. And a child of God yes. will find. Yes. And it is there for us to find to know him more and more. And I, I remember I asked you the question about the, 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 the goal and when he was birthed, and then you carry the scripture right back to the temple now. And Shua said, you, you want to have a nice temple, you can work for me. Because mm -hmm. I am here. You want to, want to, you know, I may make silver, silver and gold. gold. You may make silver and gold. So yes. you can come to me with that. Okay. So you see, the, 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 the clarification with the first question, I know you come sweeten it up now. Yes. With this one. It was, it was good. It was good. Just me. I Which really, is blessing. Yeah, man.